Um, first of all, Kayla, happy belated birthday. I, I don't think we've, we've spoken since. Fee got you a pretty good birthday gift tonight, sounds like. Uh, but but Fee, on, uh, on Tuesday, I don't, I don't know if you remember, but, but I asked you about your mid-post game, and you said, if I had to hit a game winner, I'm, I'm going to the post. So you called your shot a, a game early. Just can you take me through um, what you saw in that last possession and, and how you're able to get that shot to go? Um, well, first of all, I was open because Mac, like she came off of the fake so hard that it allowed my, I mean, it made my defensive person like jump to her a little bit and freeze. So that's what allowed me to get open. And then, I mean, like I told you, that is where I want to be if I have to take a game winner and I missed the first one. So I'm just like, I got to make this one. <laughs> um, and, and then Kayla, for you, I think you were shooting 29% from three before Tuesday and for, for you to for you to go seven from 14 in the two games since and score 34 points, just, um, you know, I know you're, you're no stranger to responding to adversity, but just what's clicked for you recently? Uh, I felt like I was just being a little bit passive uh, in my head a little bit too much. I know who I am like as a, as a player and it's a lot of averages, you know, I play a lot of basketball all year round, um, you know, shots go in, shots don't go in, but you know, I know how to get myself back. And uh, I talked to Cheryl before, last Seattle game and she was just like let it fly like have fun I was shooting more stress than just shooting you know to make it um and you know just having that mindset out there and knowing that you know coach has my back my teammates have my back you know like I said it's just, it's just it happens uh, you know and I I didn't get down on myself just keep shooting and then Kayla what's it like for you to you know to be guarding Jewel Lloyd in the second half where you have a hand in her face on, on seemingly every look she gets up and it still goes in and you still keep with it and are able to, to make a play on that, on that last possession. I mean, Jay, I, I've known Jay for 14, 15 years already. I mean, I remember being in the gym at Notre Dame with her doing the same thing. So for me, it's just, you know, her game has evolved so much and taking on that role this year um, after, you know, Stewie and Sue are gone, you know, she, she had to elevate, elevate her game. And so I know that as long as I'm staying in her space, uh, making her take tough shots, that's all I can do. She's a great player. Um, and she made a lot of tough shots tonight. Uh, kudos to her. And then last one for you, Kayla, just, just to see Fee, the way that she she battles on both ends on the interior defensively and then really kind of kept you guys in it with offensive rebounds on the glass. Just what is it like to to be able to play along somebody that that's that's doing everything to try to keep you guys in it? Yeah, I was just telling her in the hallway, like I'm just so proud of her because you know it's not easy coming back after having having Mila and, and doing all these things and having to put yourself in the offseason. Like nobody sees any of that. You guys just see her now. Um, but I, I think that her evolution and just what she's been able to do in the beginning of the season has been amazing. I've just been, you know, happy to be out there with her, pushing her, doing everything I can to help make it easier for her because, you know, uh, teams are going to change up their scouting report. Teams are going to give her different looks and just being able to be, you know, that sidekick and just being somebody out there that's supporting her, uh, has been great, but you know, her game is her games. These last couple games have been amazing to watch and amazing to be a part of. Thanks so much. Noah. Yeah, this is for Nafisa. Um, Cheryl had mentioned that with Diamond, the, the way her personality is, and she, she's young and sort of energetic in this kind of a game, uh, maybe that can get a little out of hand sometimes. She said she caught herself, but with you and, and you being so such a calming presence, do you have any cues, you know, with the youngster that you kind of use in moments like tonight when the game's so, so tight back and forth and just to keep her head in the game? Um, I was kind of just doing this to her, just like, for example, on the free throw, like when she missed the free throw, I know it's really high pressure and she puts a lot of pressure on herself. And I was just telling her like, shake it off. I mean, that's how basketball is. You have to go on to the next one. You have to play it, play by play. You can't be thinking about what just happened. So I was really just trying to tell her to shake off what happened and move on to the next one. Um, and I'm really proud of her because she like, it's just her personality. My personality is naturally more calm. So it's easier for me to do that. That's not her natural personality. So I was really proud of her to be able to kind of recognize that and bring herself in because um, it's not always easy. Um, Kayla, I'm curious from your perspective, do you see that sort of as, as a balancing out factor where, where Diamond can really just be like that, you know, just be energetic, be upbeat. And uh, Nafisa is there to kind of like even out, uh, I guess, the tone for the team. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, I think it's it's a, it's a collective effort um, with, with Diamond and even Dorka. We know that there's going to be a learning curve for them. And games like tonight, uh, the, the experience that they gain, the confidence they, that they gain, um, the things that they learn in, in moments like that when you're going to overtime and you know, just the details of the game. Um, and you see them going through that process. I mean, we've, we've all been there. We know what it's like to be a rookie in this league. Um, so just, yeah, like I said, I think we both have more of a calming presence. We're both super competitive, but 
I think they can feel that. We kind of let them do what they can, but bring it in when we, when we know we have to. But the coaches do a good job of that too. Um, and I think that's why we've seen them be so successful because they're kind of getting it all from a little bit from everywhere. Um, but we're still allowing them to be themselves. And I mean, Diamond just hit one of the biggest shots probably of her young career um, to tie the game. So um, giving her the confidence to do that, but also you know, just allowing her to go through her process as well. Yeah, I think this was your guys' first overtime game, if I'm not mistaken, this season. Um, to, to be able to pull it out the way you did, um, does that lend itself to some confidence here moving forward uh, just to get some momentum? Uh, it's still early in the season, but uh, these games, they've, they've got to be important for something, right? Takeaways and that such. I mean, it's always fun to win <laughs> overtime games. And like K-Max said, I think like the experience of it is really important too, because it shows you how hard it is to grind that out. And, you know, when you go into overtime, like at the end of the game, you're like, okay, we can do this for one more minute. Just push for 30 seconds, push for 10 seconds. And then you have to start over again at five. And so getting that like mental toughness too, because that's a long five minutes and a lot can happen in that time. Um, so staying calm on that. And then a big thing we're talking about in the huddle is, you know, it's zero, zero. And we always say the first five is really important of every quarter. And then it's the next five. And so that's really what we locked in on and just being really aggressive in everything that we did. Um, so I'm really proud of our rookies, especially because that's like a scary situation to be in, you know, <laughs> yeah. and they were like fearless in it. They were aggressive. I mean, Diamond took that shot like Dork was doing her thing. Um, so I'm really proud of what they did and how we I mean, as a team, Di Diamond, like we were able to be in that position to have a game winner because of the defense that we did, partly by our rookie and partly by our vet. Like it was a team effort. So it was just really great all around. Thank you. And then Chris. Nafisa, you've done it before, but speaking me as someone who never has and never will have the opportunity to hit a shot like that, what's it like having the ball in your hands with five seconds left in a game, knowing that it's it's there for the taking? Um, I mean, it's fun. Like this is these are the situations that you kind of look for in sports, and I've actually never hit a game winner before, so this is also new to me. <laughs> so, um, but I think, I mean. It's kind of, it's good and bad, right? Because I missed the first one and I'm like, if we lose this game, it feels like it's on my shoulders. Um, so it's, like I said, it's good and bad. When you don't make it, it's on you. If you make it, it's on you. So you have to come like, mm -hmm. I don't know, but winning is fun. So winning is fun. Is. So wait, that's the, you never hit a buzzer beater. That's the latest winner you hit? A game winner. I've hit like buzzer beaters on a quarter, but never for a game. That seems impossible. <laughs> Never. All right. Well, welcome to it. Thanks. <laughs> uh, with the line you put up tonight, the, the, it's only been done once in history. Candace Parker, you told me at the beginning of the preseason, you were looking forward to, to getting back in the flow and getting back in the rhythm of game after game. Fair to say after tonight, uh, you're there or is there still some building to be done? There's always building to be done, but I feel really good. I mean, like Max said, this has been my hardest off season, just coming back. And so, um, being able to push past like where I was my last season, which was 2021 and to get better, it was, it was like a sprint for me. And so um, I am proud of myself and the work that I put in and I'm glad that it's showing on the court because um, I feel like I worked my butt off in the off season. So I'm glad it's like paying off a little. Nice shot. Good win. Have a good night. Thank you.